Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Alison, the online piano and violin tutor. So today I'm gonna to give you three tips on how to practice effectively. But before we go into the video, I just wanna tell you about something. So I wanna let you know about my online music store, which has a wide range of teaching material and courses for violin, which will allow you to be able to learn to play the violin from complete scratch all the way to an intermediate level or if you can already play the violin at a basic level you can still jump into the course and it will get you to an intermediate level guaranteed my violin course has been written so it is very easy to understand and learn with interactive videos from me embedded within the digital course which is like having your own kind of personal violin tutor in the room there with you the course is priced at 59.99 us dollars and contains everything absolutely everything you will need to get going all you'll need is your actual violin and bow and the course is 100 percent downloadable there is nothing physical to ship out as soon as you pay you can download it and it is available to everyone anywhere wherever you are in the world my course absolutely guarantees to take you from a complete beginner violinist to a very decent accomplished intermediate player okay let's get going so three tips on how to practice effectively tip number one make a plan what do you need to work on so do you need to work on pieces technical stuff scales arpeggios you know what is it that you've got going on write down everything that you've that you've got that, that you're working on at the moment so write down all the pieces write down all the scales write down everything you've got because it's much easier to see what you've got as a whole it's like taking stock stock checking to see how much you've got so it's much easier to kind of divvy it out so this is a very sort of similar process so rather than just having things going around in your head and, and buzzing around all over the place and it gets a little bit overwhelming because you don't really know what you're doing next write down everything that you're working on or write down everything that you that, that you want to actually focus on there might be some pieces that you're now finished with but you keep going back to them and it's now time to move on to more things so write down what it is is exactly specifically what you need to practice on and you can band it into pieces technical exercises scales arpeggios you know anything like that um, any studies any other little exercises you're working on put it all out in front of you and then it's much easier to make a plan on what it is that you want to do tip number two focus and hone in specifically so what specifically do you want to do and what do you want to, to achieve don't scattergun by doing it all the biggest mistake people make when practicing is let's say they've got two pieces that they're playing and they're working through six scales and arpeggios the, the, the typical student will play those two pieces through once or twice they'll play each one of the scales and arpeggios or whatever it is that they've got once maybe twice through if they're lucky that's it practice done violin down now you tell me what have you achieved by playing your two pieces through start to finish and that's it and just playing your scales through now to me that's just maintenance to me that is just familiarizing yourself and reminding your fingers how those pieces go but you have not actually practiced that doesn't actually count as practice at all the definition of practice in my mind at the end of your practice session you should be better at something or whatever it is that you're working on you should be better than you were when you started so you started not knowing how to do something particularly and then you ended by nailing that and that is a practice session so you can't call practice playing a piece from start to finish or playing your scales from start to finish boom i'm done moving on to the next thing so focus and hone in so you don't have to practice everything you've written down on your plan all in that practice session so if you've written down two pieces six scales and maybe two uh, finger exercises that you're working on you don't have to practice all that in one session because you're not going to be able to do that by the time you've played your two pieces by the time you've played your scales by the time you've played those exercises that's probably your whole entire practice session and again you've achieved nothing so really focus and hone in say today i want to practice you know this chunk in the middle of this piece because you know what i cannot get it going fast enough my fingers get in a muddle i need to sort out the bowing that kind of thing and don't worry that you haven't practiced your scales today or the other technical exercises because you've nailed that one particular passage in that piece of music you've not been able to nail for you know for potentially weeks or even months so 
Remember, you don't have to practice everything in one go. Focus and, and hone in on certain things. And even if it means that you have to work on that for a whole entire week, that's absolutely fine. If that's the case, all I would say is just make sure that you do finish that practice session by playing through your scales and your technical stuff just once, just to keep those chugging along so that the, the following week you haven't just abandoned them for a week and then it's gonna take you three or four days to kind of relearn and get back into them again. And the final tip is timings. Set timings within your session. So that can help you as well. Again, this sort of all depends on what you're practicing and how much you're practicing and um, how long ultimately you are practicing as well. But maybe you could set uh, set yourself 10 minutes to work on scales and you just keep going through scales until the 10 minute timer is up or 15 minutes would probably be more realistic um, or you know 15 minutes on two lines of a piece of music that you're having trouble with and you keep practicing those two lines any which way possible for that pure 15 minutes and you do not stop until that timer goes off so splitting your session into 10 minutes on this 10 minutes on that 10 minutes on that accumulatively um, by taking, you know, making your plan, focusing and honing in and timings are going to help you to practice so much more effectively than the whole scattergunning effect um, of just or playing it through from start to finish. And that's it, because it's not really going to be an effective practice session. If you've organised points one and two, then you're going to find the last point three much easier to do. So, there we go. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Just a very nice, quick, simple, easy video just to help some of you that may just be struggling with your, your practice and you know the point of view of a, of a professional musician and how I would recommend that you go and practice as a student. Don't forget the links to my violin course and everything in my shop are going to be directly underneath this video. But thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.